Do you like ultimatums? I like ultimatums. Stacks back, Scoop Phase MTG. Got a nice deck today. Um, I ran this deck all the way through Platinum. Uh, you know, season just reset, so everybody that was in Mythic went back down to Platinum. So I ran this deck all the way through Platinum. It did pretty good in Platinum. Um, then once you get to Diamond, you run into a lot of Counterspell decks. So I will be honest, this deck does kind of have a problem with Counterspells. But, I mean, what deck doesn't have a problem with Counterspells? Um, this deck idea came by way of uh, Teddy Mburu, Mburo, Mburo. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name. But, yeah, he hit me up on Facebook. He was running this deck idea. Um, running Golos with the ultimatums and uh, um, Nyx Blooms and just doing all kind of crazy stuff. He had Planeswalkers in the deck and everything. So this, the original concept of this deck came from from Teddy. So shout out to Teddy. Um, but I did I did a lot of tweaking to it and I, I finally got it to where I like it to be. Um, the deck may be a little bit too slow to be um, you know compete in the top tiers of competitive. But there are times if you can you know get your sequencing right and draw draw the right cards and be on time um, that you can compete with some of the upper tier decks. I mean, I, I think I've beaten just about every meta deck with this deck, um, including Fires, uh, Just Got Fires. Um, that matchup, that's the last match on on this video, I think, is the Just, just Got matchup. So, um, yeah, I beat Red, I beat Racto Sack, I beat, you know, pretty much every deck. Um, it's hard to get quality matches with this deck because once you play an ultimatum, people usually scoop. Um, you know, the season just reset, so you know people just trying to get in quick games. If they feel like they're going to lose, they just they just concede. So, um, but the deck focuses on it focuses on just playing pretty much all the ultimatums. The only only ultimatum I'm not running is a uh, emergent ultimatum ultimatum because it doesn't make sense to run it in this deck. Um, but I'm running, so I'm running three Ruinous Ultimatum and three Genesis Ultimatum in the main board. And then in the sideboard, I'm running an extra Ruinous Ultimatum, uh, extra Genesis Ultimatum, and one Eerie Ultimatum, and one and two Inspired Ultimatum. Um, I did make an adjustment to the sideboard after I got done recording my matches because I felt like the deck needed it. Um, I'm running, I put an extra Chromatic Lantern in the sideboard because sometimes... If you get in a situation where your Dryad is killed or your Chromatic Lantern gets removed and you don't want to be waiting around to draw one naturally, so you can just use uh, Fair Wishes to tutor up the one out of the sideboard and that should get you where you need to be. So for the main deck, I'm running um, two Grazer, uh, of course, for ramp, uh, four Fair Wishes, one uh, Carrot, I mean, three Carrot here, excuse me, uh, four Paradise Druid, uh, three Dryad of Elysian Grove, uh, three Chromatic Lantern. Uh, two Migration Path, two Golos, uh, four Agent of Treachery, one Nyx Bloom Ancient, three Ruinous Ultimatum, three Gen Genesis Ultimatum. Uh, for the land base, I got five Islands, five Mountains, six Forests, two Temple of Epiphany, uh, two Temple of Mystery, three Breeding Pool, and three Stomping Ground. In the sideboard, um, I have two uh, Assassin's Trophy, uh, two Quasi Duplicate, that's to be countering those agents, uh, one Chromatic Lantern, one Jace Wielder of Mysteries, one Stone's Wrath for when you just have to pull the trigger and try to kill everything on the board. Uh, I chose this over Shadow of the Sky because sometimes people have pesky Planeswalkers out and this hits the Planeswalkers. I wanted a way to be able to at least get the Planeswalkers out of ultimate range, even if this doesn't kill them all the time. Um, I got one Samu for when I'm going off with Golos and I'm just flooding the board with creatures. Then I like to have Samu because Samu gives all my stuff haste and I can just swing out after playing a bunch of creatures and just went out of nowhere. Um, uh, one Nissa, uh, one Emergency Powers. Emergency Powers is useful because I did need it in one of my matches. Um, believe it or not, it, it actually kept me from dying. Um, yeah, and then the Ultimatums. Um, the way this deck really operates is you just want to ramp and you want to get out Golos. And then once you got Golos out, you can use his ability and just, you know, keep casting ultimatums, keep casting fair wishes, tutoring up stuff, um, putting out putting out your little small creatures, um, putting out uh, Agent of Treacheries and stealing their creatures, stealing their stuff. Um, you can keep copying Agent of Treachery with the Jumpstart card. Uh, Nyx Bloom Ancient, once you get him out, if you get to untap with him, then you should win. Unless you don't have any cards in your hand, then, you know, it pretty much sucks then. But 
Um, when all the elements line up right, it's a really, really good deck, and it can beat the upper tier levels of decks, but you need things to go right. Um, and like I said, the biggest problem is the counter spells, but hey, we all know the, how those matchups are. So, But yeah, let's get into the gameplay. I guess I'll keep this. It's not as fast as I would like it to be, but try it out. Hopefully I'll draw into some action. What's up? This dude's name is What's Up. Original. Alright. He's playing red, so I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Wishes up, no need to search for anything yet. Oh, Crinkle. Ain't seen him in forever. Crinkle, live in the flesh from 1999. Standing. What else you got? I know this kid. to steal your stuff and sack dick. No other yet though. Block your crinkle here. I love to have a crinkle. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the steal. On crinkle. Pretty sure he'll sack it in response, but at least he can stop generating tokens. Oh. Well, that's better than Agent. Let's see what I get. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I want the first sprinkle. I want to land. No, I'll. I'll Go for the roll strider. Go ahead and sack your Krinko in response. Scrap. Get him off the field. Come on, man. Take it so long for. What? Okay. Um go? <laughs> What's that all about? Oh. He's got another Krinko. He wants to go Krinko versus Krinko. Oh. Alright. Sack my crazy. You can see what's on top here. I don't want to draw any more lanes. Nope. Don't need that. Uh Who I wanna No, let me let me just let me attack first. I'm gonna attack with Krinko, see how he blocks. Maybe, I bet he tries to block and try to kill it. If he does that, then I'll just steal the other one. <laughs> He's going for it. Well, kill all of these. Now, steal the other Krinko. Oh man, come on. Yep. Guess I'll definitely uh definitely keep this. Agathon. What are you thinking about, man? Waiting on you. Let's go. So much red today. It's like Insect infestation. All day, either red, red or uh, counter, simic or Demir counter. It was pretty chill in, in platinum. I played this all the way through platinum. But once I got the diamond, 
all the red dicks. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely block your. What are you gonna do? You gonna waste something on it? But yeah, all the way through platinum, it was pretty chill. And then uh, get the diamond. This is where all the tryhards are. Everybody playing nothing but red and counter magic. And the ones that aren't playing red or counter magic, then most of the time they just lose. You can see way too fast. Lock. I'll take the risk. Got a lightning bolt? Oh. No. Sorry, that's not in standard. People come with these weird cards from man. Well, Shadow Spear isn't weird, but um It's not it's not really a Car you'd expect to see in red. It's supposed to be Ember Cleave only. Alright, I need to land here so I can steal something. Oh man. I'm in trouble now. Top, top deck mode waiting for a land. Uh, he's probably got an Ember Cleave. Won't be using it if he's got it. He got enough. He got enough mana. I wonder if he's got it and he screwed up by playing it, the Steamkin. Steamkin doesn't have haste. Sucks for him. Sucks for him, Agatha. Let's go. What are you gonna do? Equip a Shadow Spear. Give me some life. I'm gonna take the hit. Take the hit. Since that's all he's swinging with. Hopefully I get to land here. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna jam the removal. I don't care about him getting his tokens. If he plays anything after the, the tokens hit, then uh, I'll just steal that. Let me see, the question is, he's got an Ember Cleave, I'm pretty sure, so, how to, yeah, what, wait, what are you doing? You're supposed to wait till I declare blockers. Uh, okay, make it easy for me. Yep, too soon, Junior. It's the Fast and the Furious, too soon, too soon, Junior. Yeah, I'm still the Ember Cleave now. Won't be needing that. I'll, ma I'll make good use of it. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Swing in with your tokens. Alright. Use gold to see. See what we get. Uh, I'll use Fade of Tutor. What do I want? Uh. I think I just want to copy agent. Yeah, just keep copying agent for so whatever he puts out. Put this down. All right. Opponent pretty much just gave us the game. I'm gonna chill out on defense here until I get my board set. Life total is still pretty low. Oh well, let's go ahead and clear all these out. I can swing in. Oh. Alright. They yeah, a great hand. A green goblin. Playing lures. Playing lures? Alright. Oh. Man. Getting some quality matches is really difficult right now because the season just started. Started over. So. Everybody's trying to play counter and red. Oh, cycling. I think this is the first game of today I've seen of cycling. Uh, 
Let me get this down in case he's got some kind of removal. I'd rather him use it on my carry tip than Paradise Druid when I tap it. Psycho King. It's my buddy. He's always chasing me. Yeah, I'll keep that. Won't mix poo. Got plenty enough ramp to get to him soon, so it's good to keep. I don't think I've ever seen a cycling deck run lures though. I wonder what that's all about. Guess he smart. He wants to have Dr. Lewis around the doctor of fingers when they die. Yeah, I guess I'll guess I'll take it. Alright. Let's go ahead and get uh gold is down here. Um, let's see. Any specific land that I need to get right now? Um, do I need red more or blue more? Or, um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just pick island. Pick island. You know, ping me some more. Some more cycling. Wait. Let's see it. How they, uh, I don't know how people run this type of deck because if I try to run a deck like this, I would just be drawing in the lands. But somehow they seem to draw unlimited cyclists. It's pretty good. Got me down to 10 already. Alright. Swing in now and you're going. Oh, wait. What? That can't be right. Alright. What? Didn't expect that. The ping was killing me. Why well, sacrifice him after all that hard work? See how you treat your employees. Not a good boss. I hope that pinger files a dispute on you. Sacrificing him after such hard work. What is he doing? What are you thinking about? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, these cycling decks, they run that. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, he's got ten. They run that card that um, it deals damage to something for however many cycling cards in the graveyard. So. I need to I need to do something with him so I don't die. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the inspired ultimatum. Uh, yeah, so I can gain some life and uh, I'll be out of kill range because he's got ten cards in the graveyard. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill that fox. Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. I have to t target myself first. <laughs> Alright. Kill the fox. Draw some cards. That puts him 11 cycling cards in the grave. Um, let me see. This guy isn't conceding, so I, I want to I try to make this good for you guys. It's very rarely do you ever get... I'm going to steal his uh, this guy over there. Very rarely does somebody let you play an ultimatum and, and not concede, so try to make this as cool as possible. Um, so sorry if it seems like I'm dirtling here. Swing in. Yeah, I guess I can play the grave with some added defense, but I don't foresee him attacking or anything. <laughs> Uh, I want another inspired 
I'm gonna keep my keep my life totals up here. I'll keep some fresh cards in my hand. Play one of the fair wishes. Oh, I can't believe this guy is conceding. This is so great. Do some more cycling. I think that spell costs four, the one that I was talking about. So he's, he's got 12 cards, 12 cycling cards now in the grave. There's 13. All right, he can't, he can't kill me this turn. Yep. Yep. Um, but he still he could have another one though. Um, let me draw some cards first. this yes. if he isn't conceding I'm thinking that he's probably got another one so I need to get rid of his graveyard so let me let me get um emergency powers where is where is my emergency powers wait a minute wait where is it at oh okay Can see that. All right, I'm gonna steal the land. Yeah, I'm gonna steal the land. Uh, play another agent. Steal another land. Now, since I have these lands, agent's gonna draw me a bunch of cards at the end of my turn here, because I have two of his lands and his guy. That's three cards I don't own. Um, anything else I want to do here? Right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to make this as cool as possible because this guy hasn't conceded. He's a champion. A green goblin. You are a champion. What I want to get now. Uh, I think I just want to just keep copying agent. Bunch of cards. You only ever see the agent trigger. Like, how many times have you seen the agent trigger? People, most people probably even, they probably forget that he has it. All right, let's go. All right, how do I want to win now? Before I deck myself, do I want to get Jace. Could uh, could fetch up Jace. Fair wishes. I could get Samuel. Flip, flood the board with a bunch of creatures. Give everything haste. Oh, let me see. I just want to win with some style. This guy isn't conceited. Green Goblin, if you're in the group, you're a champion for letting me do this. You're awesome. It's the best match I got on film all day. Cycling. It won't help you. It won't save you. You don't want to win with Jace. I want to draw my cards in. Oh man, come on. Uh, yeah. A little slow. Good, good to go. I need some, uh. Wish I had some blue, but. If I can, if I can draw into some more lands, then I'll be alright. Because, uh. Got migration. Roy. Yeah, there we go. Roy G1863. Alright. Chromatic lantern down. Swing to zero. Oh, wait. He's playing Karuga. Uh. Yeah, that probably means fires. Fires is the only deck that I've seen running Karuga. Alright. I, I better stop messing around now. Alright. Um, let's get, go ahead and ramp so we can be online as fast as possible. Uh, I need forest and island. 
and be ready to steal whatever he puts down. Go ahead, put that fires down. I'm ready for it. Steal your fire. Oh, fairy. Sorry, I'm late. I'd like a fairy. Don't worry, I got you. You borrow your fairy. Hope you're not running counter skills. Trust me, I have a plan. Take that. I'm guessing he's a fire's dick, but he could be a counter dick. He might be screwed now, since I stole his fairy. Well, let's go ahead and let's make sure try this. You can't cast anything. Won't be countering anything today, buddy. What I want? I need some more cards. I'm not gonna play around with this guy. He's playing some control. I'm tired of control. Got enough control for the day. I'm not gonna play with this guy like I did with the cycling deck here. It's all right. I don't have any instance anyway. Plus first. I've got um, time. Let's go ahead and get this down. Let's go ahead and wish again. Uh, I think I'll take. Let me think. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Genesis? Yeah, Genesis. Need to get permanents on the board. Gonna play your Karuga? Fire? Here we go. Oh, that was board wipe. Guess he was dealt the royal flush on board wipes. Let's go, buddy. This is war. This is serious stacks playing right now. Oh, uh, plus first. Here goes nothing. Uh, need permanence. All right. I didn't want to take the risk of him just, just me just playing Nix Bloom and then him just bouncing it or killing it, and that was the only thing I've done for the turn. All right. Been tapped. Play this. Got access to colors. Good now. What you got? You ain't, did, you ain't done nothing yet. Where's your fires? Play your Karuga. You can do something. I'm looking good. No, I am not making this up as I go. I'm not making it up either. Your uh, your player's getting his, his butt whooped now. Gonna board wipe again? Where your fires? Oh, you got it. What are you doing? Don't do anything, my golos. It ain't bothering you. Oh. Oh. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get Nick's Bloom down now. Glad I didn't play him last turn. Would have got it down. Kill your fairy. It's only a matter of time. I would like a Elspeth conquers death. Take that. Thank you. Good plus. I've got time. Um, let me get this down. Go ahead and I'll swing in with the pip squeaks now. Still no fires, huh? I'm wondering if this is even a fire's dick. Maybe dream trawler. Oh. 
Alright. Doesn't want me drawing cards. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe I ought to. Oh, there's fires. Knew it was a fire dick. Fires is the only one who runs Kar Karuga right now, so. Alright. Uh, you know, bounce your fires. Let's try this. Yeah. All right. Um. I think I want to tutor up. Let me see. Let me discard forest and carry to. I just want to be copying the agent. Yeah. I like a narcissist. She was dating me first. Was my girlfriend. Steal her back. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Before I go, one thing I do want to uh, mention that I forgot to mention in the intro was that the deck might be strong if you put March the Multitudes in the sideboard that you, so you can be able to tutor that up, tutor that up with Fair Wishes um, with all the extra mana that you have um, on the board in the late game. Um, it can be a great late game finisher. Um, I didn't have time to do it in all of my testing and video shooting earlier today. Um, I was kind of pressed for time, but uh, I'm going to put it in the sideboard and try that out in Diamond. I think it'll do um, it'll work wonders for the deck. So anybody who builds this deck, Make sure you do that. At least put a single copy of March Jamal 2 in the sideboard. All right, guys. Please like and subscribe. You know, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. All right. See y'all next time.